everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am going to show you how I came up with uh, this lamp that I made for my daughter's room using those adorable macaron trinket boxes that we are finding at the Dollar Tree I wanted something to put in her room that was just gonna stand out and be really really pretty and colorful and what better to use than some pastel macarons so I'm using five of the macarons one of each color I'm also using that gold candle tea light holder which will be the top of the lamp for the lampshade to sit on I picked up this lampshade at Walmart it was one of the cheapest ones it was like three dollars and some change what I didn't like really was that it was fabric I was hoping to find a turquoise color in a plastic one so since I didn't I am going to spray paint it with my white primer and I picked up this high gloss turquoise color to match the kind of like the colors of the macarons um, I was a little skeptical because it is fabric but that's what I'm gonna do now I took one of the shadow boxes from Dollar Tree I took that middle part out because I can use that on something else and this is gonna be my base for the lamp um, I wanted something that was sturdy I took the piece off the back um, just unscrew that part that you can use to hang on the wall and I wanted something sturdy that the lamp could sit on so that's why I went with that I will be spray painting that as well now here's the LED tap lights this box was like four dollars at Walmart and you get four lights in there I was looking for the ones at Dollar Tree which they do sell these but I went to multiple stores and they did not have them when I do a DIY project from Dollar Tree, I try to use all products from Dollar Tree, but unfortunately, sometimes you can't find the products that you need. I will also be using these pastel color letters that I got from Michaels. So I'm going to get started. The first thing that I did was I took the lampshade outside and I only used the white primer to primer it so that the, the turquoise color would... Um, go on a little bit better and I'm also using primer on the bottom box because the turquoise color said it has a high shine and I wanted that shine to come through so after I primered both and I let them dry I went in and I used the turquoise paint on both of them excuse my toes <laughs> And I just spray painted the both of them after I let those dry for uh, a day I went in and I'm sorry I had glued the bottom one on already that bottom macaron I had already glued that before I turned the camera on my kids were messing with me and I was just busy and I forgot to turn the camera on so I glued the bottom one and then as you can see I took my hot glue gun and I am gluing that one and I did do that crooked on purpose I, I didn't want it to be straight up and down I wanted to have like a jagged type of a look as if they were kind of falling over so because I'm only doing that one halfway I'm only putting hot glue on half of it and I did use a generous amount on each one just to make sure that nothing falls apart if you want you can go back um, in behind the hot glue and use the E6000 from Michaels so after I place them where I want them I just put this one on the top that will be my top one I ran out of glue so my handy dandy glue sticks from the Dollar Tree was sitting right there so I had to add some more glue and this will be my top one and I made sure to keep all the heart shapes uh, facing outward now this one I wanted it I seen a picture online and I thought it was so cute it was like some stacked macarons and it had the one that was falling over to the side so that's kind of what inspired me to uh, put this one on the side and I'm just putting glue where it's gonna actually touch so I was just making sure so I put that there and it was also a good way for you to make sure that you know it kind of helped hold up the, the other ones now I'm going to glue this one on the top and I'm only using that because it is gold and the accents on the macarons are gold as well so I thought it was a perfect fit and you really won't even see that when, once you put the lampshade on 
So I just glued that to the top. And then the lampshade is right here. And see what I mean? You don't even see the gold uh, square. So it didn't really matter what you really use, but I just wanted to keep it in the same color scheme. So I took two of the uh, push lights that sit inside of here perfectly. Now you can use one if you'd like, and that'll illuminate your light going upward, but because I wanted to illuminate going up and down as if there was a real light bulb in there, I will be putting two in there. So it will be stacked just like this. And you will see at the end of the video how you'll be able to see the light shining down on the lamp and upwards on the wall. And then I will put it right here and it will sit just like that. And there you have it. A finished adorable lamp I took my letters I forgot to show you guys I took my letters and I wrote life is sweet on the base with the little letters that I got from Michaels and as you can see you can see the light shining down and you can also see the light shining up uh, if you want you can turn one light off and leave one light on but I, I really preferred it to be up and down like that and my bedroom light is sort of dim so this is what it looks like under dim lights and then this is what it looks like with the light off the tv is still on but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this hit that subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later